We're here today at the Joint Conference Budget Committee on Health and Medicaid, and we have Mo Osser from the Medical Society of New York. Mo, could you just talk a little bit about what um, you testified today at the hearing and maybe some of your recommendations that you're going to be giving to the committee? Well, we focused, thank you, thank you for giving us the opportunity. We, uh, we focused on a number of different initiatives. Frankly, the overall theme was, you know, the, the, over, the overall pra practice difficulties many physicians are facing in New York State, the squeeze between extraordinarily high overhead costs led predominantly by the high cost of medical liability insurance and at the same time the difficulty um, doctors have um, dealing with health insurance companies, making sure their patients can get the appropriate care they need, the time-consuming authorizations, such as such as now um, that they have to go, which they already had to go through with regard to assuring their patients can get appropriate care, um, needed tests and prescription drugs. And now and now they're going through as well um, as a result of the initiative that was passed last year to uh, re to require patients to obtain their prescription drugs um, and Medicaid through Medicaid managed care companies. Um, we've had some productive discussions with the health department, so we're pleased with some things that they've they've done to you know make sure that you have a uniform a, a single source for where physicians can identify formularies. But we also had done a survey of physicians back in the fall where they talked about um, some of the difficulties they were having um, with health, with health insurance companies, which frankly is no great surprise because we know we knew from before that they, the doctors mm -hmm. have difficulties. Time spent on the phone trying to get, obtain necessary prior authorizations, um, and it's and and to no one's surprise, the time it's taking now with the private insurance companies is longer than it was taking before with the uh, with, with, with 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 the state when they had the, pres the prescriber prevail system. So we're hopeful that we can take some positive steps forward to make some changes to the health and insurance laws to make sure. That that this process can be that pr this process can be streamlined, so doctors can get back to taking care of patients in, instead of having to go through cumbersome ins cumbersome insurance processes. Um, again, that's a clinical initiative. Also, going back to what I originally said before about the about the overhead cost side of the ledger, um, last year there was a significant discussion around the around enacting medical malpractice reforms. Um, we were disappointed that that was not included in this year's budget. Um, we were certainly very open to a number of different initiatives that would get at the bottom line of what the doctors pay in medical liability costs. Um, New York physicians pay far above what most other physicians pay in any other state. Mm -hmm. We think it's a critical issue for the state for a state to address and we think it's very very important. And not Again, it's not just a doctor pocket budget issue but it's also a patient access issue and it's also a state budget issue because it significantly impacts upon the costs that go into the Medicaid program. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome.